Nope. There surely cannot be another day of this game. This has got to be it. This has got to be the last chance for their fetch quest. I've got to redo what I lost in progress last night when they broke my gear and I reset. Lost my bones. They never really tell you where the slab is. I found it just by wandering the world. We gotta go get the power source and then I can solve the hole that's still open on whether it's an actual machine or a fake one. If it's real, then the game probably has more content. If it's fake, then it probably sends me to the continent I can't escape. Or heal on, for that matter. I don't know which one's worse. I haven't seen a single cow bone. There's no cows in this world.
Apparently this is the undersea lab. I don't remember ever hearing about that. But I guess that's where it is. Maybe someone in town tells about it. Go get her, sugar rump. big deal out of this empty hotel room. Um, I guess we are the Dragon Master. And in, in the form of we have four useless skills, I guess that's all it was. Pretty sure the uh, archer on my team can beat our main hero at this point in a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, there's enemies who break gear in here, so that's why I had to restart. We're back. I've returned to the Undersea Palace of Lunar Dios. Crash load of enemies. anything. Okay, definitely have to blast these assholes. Something like six out of seven enemies here can break my gear. That's what we're looking at. enemies in here guarding this treasure. 
I don't know what it is. I didn't see the other box until just now. I knew the glasses were here. They're not good. I just felt like picking them up. Every time they swing, there's a chance of ruining me. He's completely out of mana already. Shots. That one's open now. I'm leaving. HP recovery and paralysis protection. Rematch. The door is open and I'm <laughs> full up. I'm betting I'm just gonna run in here, pull a switch, and then have to go back. And then pull a switch, it'll open that door and I'll have to come back again. No, none of them took the trial. They just witnessed the trial. So at this point, they surely know that the trials were nonsense. This world is based on nothing. I'd like another one of those rings. <laughs> That's what I think. One of those mana reduction rings. I'm currently using it to spam this. It's working wonders.
No mercy for these. Spawn the room. That's still good. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that, probably. She's got plenty of mana. Definitely switch it off for a boss fight, though, because... Gab there has enough mana to do anything in a normal fight. There's just so many enemies that you grind against that don't really require healing. Sure, it's got ended it. I haven't used any. Fighting without using her ability kind of sucks now. ability can't miss. Hits everybody. It's fire damage, I think, so it, it seems like it does affect enemies differently, so these things that are awful, they just don't care about that as much, but that's okay, I guess. Can't get them all, I suppose. Man, so much for confusion. Now we'll really see if it can't miss, because I'm only a little bit sure about that.
looks good still. I was going to grind the money to buy that, so hey, I'll take it. 30 more defense, not even, 20, 28 defense and auto healing. I don't know how much auto healing. No more fire resist though, so you know, maybe worse. Depends on how much healing they're talking about, it's probably 5 or 10. If it's, in, if it's like the other item, it's probably exactly 7 right now, it's probably growing. I was right, we pulled a switch, now we go back to the beginning of the dead. <laughs> the ultimate will be if we pull another switch and go back again. I think this door was the one. Hey, what do you know? It is that. It's exactly that. We go back again. He gets eight back every turn. That's pretty good. Why won't he pull the switch? Ah, heck. how bad it feels. <laughs> Ridiculous, let me go. I may as well exit after I pull this last lever because like, we'll be at the front again. It would, in fact, be faster to, um... Use the escape spell, exit the whole dungeon, then it would be to walk back. So I might as well heal anyway. Might as well just leave and get a fresh state at the start, with all the doors open, at last. And then I come in and take a left and... That's seven in a row we fell. Love that. She's got auto res for some reason. She's gonna need it. As we hit the 10th failed escape. When my teammates die, they sound like a dragon. <laughs> okay, maybe that's the dragon song. Hey, the the, uh, the escape, it's just that bad of odds. It's actually just it's that bad. You can escape any time, it just didn't feel like it. I couldn't even move because I had no health to run, so I got immediately caught. That's the end of us. Actually, she's going to get a full heal, and we might survive because of her busted armor.
Why is it so hard to run? Like, what the fuck? Fuck you. The punishment's bad enough. You should never fail somebody this many times in a row. Quick, while two of them are disabled. Anyway, that's how good her armor is. It single-handedly made us not game over there twice. Why can't I pull the switch? Jeez. Maybe I have to kill every enemy in the room. That sucks. But it seems like that might be the thing. Whatever, I'm gonna escape. I'll come back to it. I don't think the switch is pulling. I don't think... is a godsend. I'm gonna make sure this door's still shut. That's why I wanted to escape. I wanted to make sure that that lever's continuing to not be pulled. Door's shut. I gotta figure out why that's not working. I'll probably kill everything in the room and see if that does it. That's all I can think of. I don't understand why the switch isn't pulling. Hopefully it's not stuck for some reason. I bet it's a good speed game. I bet it's fun. Because you just, uh, well, fun in, in that it's fun for an RPG speed run. Because <laughs> you probably don't fight a single thing. You probably skip everything except for the bosses who you obliterate. You probably just completely smoke them. I got a card called Spark and it's not in here. What is it? Sundry. Flip, damn you.
don't know what to do. I'm hoping my game isn't fucked. Why, why can't I split the switch? None of the other ones work this way. Do I really have to kill everything in the room? Hmm. That's the door that opened. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's the door that opened. Did I mix them up? Maybe I mixed them up. I think I did, yeah. Cool. We're good. Just needed to take a left, not a right. You got a problem with the undersea lab? Listen, the shape of each room is different. The room which it's connected to is different too, jeez. What more do you need? Ah! There's like 50 enemies in every room to make sure that you get jumped. Escape. Failed. Well. I certainly have learned my lesson on how unlikely it is we'll escape, so. So playing Russian roulette with the with the escape chance here, it's like a one in six, and the bullet is victory. Odds are we're gonna fail. It's inverted, there's five bullets in the chamber, not one. Oh, the siren song, it's back. Enjoy. What does it sound like with bass? Is that better? <laughs> Or worse. I'll take this big old rock, thanks. Wait, is there not a boss? What the?
Okay, well that was a whole bunch of stuff about this stone. Let's get out of here now. We, uh, we're not walking. There's no boss. This was just a big fetch quest, no matter how you slice it. She's afraid of heights, so she doesn't want to fix the airship to go flying on it. And she also doesn't want to not go, so <laughs> she's being stubborn. It's the only character development we've seen in this whole game. I'm for it. Leave Floor alone. Her struggle is the only good thing in this game. Her struggle with heights. I'm going down to go flying. It's time to answer the airship question. Last night, a lot of people bet that this airship was fake. That is to say, it's just a direct train ride right to the boss. A couple people voted yes, it's a real airship, meaning that I can pick where I want to go on the world map, including the final boss, but um, not necessarily the final boss, meaning I could just be a, the ultimate postman. Would they do that? Would they make the game what they should have made it from the start? If they wanted me to actually be a delivery boy like they did for a while there? I mean, they still do. That's how you make money. But, I haven't been doing that. <laughs> it's time to answer the question. ship now. Oh. He's doing it again. He learned no wisdom. forbidden to do it. Good. Good for game, it learned. Not only do we have a real airship, we have a real airship theme. The answer is yes. It should have always been this way. There was no reason on earth not to give me at least access to the towns I've already been to when they have an overworld like this. The game fixed one of its biggest problems here in probably the last 10 minutes of it. I don't know. You want to do some delivery? <laughs> Get some, make some money at the Gab's Express. It would be so easy to make money now. Port Saris, Daniel. Armor store. Or weapon store, I think. That ain't Daniel. Where's the Adam store? 
Yeah, I don't know why my deliveries aren't leveling up. Oh, he's right next door. <laughs> he's he's literally next door to the post office. He could have just come by after work and picked it up himself. He's gonna give me three grand for this. Well, I guess we're the ones who provided the materials, so no, he couldn't have actually done that. I don't know why this isn't leveling up. I imagine I need to deliver like 50,000 more of these. Like, it doesn't seem to matter what I do, it just doesn't level up. It's, it's leveled up like once, sometimes. Haro, I don't know who that is. Oh, Paulo. Of course. What's down here? What? Well, whatever. Oh, that's because I can go from, from where I'm at. That makes sense. This is the post-game content. <laughs> You're looking at it, I think. I don't know all the NPC names, obviously, because who would know that, but, like... They are misspelled, so, you know, knowing them doesn't really help. My assumption when I started playing this was that the deliveries would level up over time on their own as I get further into the game. But it would appear that they just have their own level or something. I don't know. I don't know why it's not leveling up. I assume I need to deliver 50,000 more packages to finally see a level 3 in here. Tovia. I'm gonna get enough money to buy an item, <laughs> and if it's still not leveled up at all, I don't care anymore. Because I only need a little bit of money here. I don't need a whole lot of cash. They gave me what I wanted for free when I opened up the box in that stupid dungeon. using our sophisticated one-of-a-kind airship to be a super postman. We ain't got no cow bones. Still. Back to DaVita. Absalom and Old Bitch.
We have to hurry and deliver the mail. I haven't done this in a while, I just wanted to make it very clear how long it takes to make 40 grand at this. We've earned like 10,000 so far. And I already have the mats. You know, this is without having to go collect them. I've already got them. Like, that was the most boring 20 minutes. <laughs> and I can fly. I can skip right to the town. This is as fast as it gets. By far. Ira. I don't remember anyone named Ira. Some lady in the back of the end, right? Yeah. of impossible garbage. I know where she is. I just delivered to her. Here's some more stuff. This delivery not... I, I mean, there's got to be a way to make, it, make more money. I like this. This can't be... Her mother apparently sent her a bunch of scythes. I don't know why, but they didn't really mention that part of it. Spoons? No, no bananas. Yeah, I got an airship. <laughs> That's pretty important. <laughs> One of these store owners is named Minico.
Oh. I can't even find a quest I can do anymore. I'm running out of mats. Oops, that's not the exit. Continues to not level up. One cow bone missing there, but. These are worth a lot of money. I don't have this, the mats, but that's the most I've ever seen 6,000. So maybe it's going up. But obviously not fast enough. And those quests are complex. Elif, take this. I'll do the free one a bunch. Maybe it'll level it up. get faster than that. This sucks. <laughs> this is terrible. where she is. Yeah, I did all that stuff. Dragons are done. I got an airship after all that crap was finally finished. We're on post postal mode here. <laughs> Trying to level this up. I just want to see how it works. All that work didn't do anything to these lists. To the original Gad. Gad Deluxe. Supposed to save the world, but he's the postman at heart, so he can't help it, so he just goes on delivery mode. He just got air air mail here, he's gotta take advantage. Deliver Pojoner. Unbelievable.
Dang, give me some quests that aren't shit. Uh, <laughs> I still haven't figured out how to do a lot of these. Like, there's like six or seven quests that I've never been able to do at any point in this game. Here or there, I've seen the drops once or twice. Like, those hugging pillows come from a, a rare drop off a rare enemy in the first dungeon. I could go grind them, I guess. Who would do that? What maniac would go and do that? Maybe you have to do every single quest and <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where ropes came from. I wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. Rusty kettles can be bought. Backwoods Town. Man named Abel. I just wanted to see one three star difficulty thing show up and it's still not happening. Maybe it's getting better. I can't really tell. I don't want to say that it is. Like, it seems like maybe these are worth slightly more money than they were. Agostini and Leafon City. But if it is, it's increasing by, like, the smallest amount possible. money am I at? That exhausting work has earned me like 13 grand. Which is one fourth of a piece of gear here. And that, like I was saying, that is just delivering stuff that I already have. Now that I'm empty, that's it. <laughs> like, we have to go grind to do it again. So you would think there's a way to triple what this is all worth. Pasolini in Leaf on City. Well, I got enough money for <laughs> two accessories, I guess, in the uh, in the shop here, if I want.
These three people just guard the busted statue all day long. I thought that Rufus might make an appearance at some point again, you know, like he wasn't really dead, but you know what? I haven't seen a piece of gear, and they fucked up by showing me that earlier on showing me that I was gonna get him and the archer and uh, Tiger Lady there. I think he's dead. <laughs> I think he's actually dead. I'm switching my opinion to Rufus really sucks and is gone forever. That's fine. Yeah, Flora really is the best of us. Unstoppable healer. Archer. Doesn't do anything really stupid. It just took her, you know, 40 levels, that's all. have to hurry before it's too late. I remember this crappy place. I'm back. It's the same place. It's even got the same lousy gear. And the same empty chest. This place is really small, so if they didn't expand it, then I'm already done with it. It's like four rooms wide. Here's the, uh, the grave of Rufus. I guess I'll save here, because... Whatever. Make a deuce. <laughs> Why don't you just not do that? Because you're not a sword. Okay. Nice. Okay, well, you can do that then, I guess. Just, just give him a little sword. No, well, now he's armed. Dang.
Oh, Gideon's got the sword. Get him with the mighty guard, the mighty weapons. <laughs> Big 60. Wait, wait, what? Gideon, um, he has one move, and, uh, not very much HP. FINAL COUNTER TYPE! And a Gideon card. Who's in the Gideon hole? Rufus died for this. I mean, that's good for you, I guess. Enjoy. Counter type final. Where? Ow. Your hero sucks. That's too bad. Now that's just revenge, man. That's just revenge. It did. It definitely didn't do that. I mean, as I saw, he made the boss stronger, right? Like he just. It wasn't very strong, and then it had a sword. It was a little stronger, but it was still pretty pathetic. Uh, it seems like if Rufus didn't try and fight it by himself, he would have won, probably, because even back then I would have been able to handle 60 damage. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Oh, I see. Just four paths. Just, uh, <laughs> they made a labyrinth out of all the dungeons in the game. The dungeons. The, the woods and the caves in the game.
The worst thing that could happen here, so it probably is what's going on, is that I have to kill every enemy on the screen on each one of these labyrinths. These are the skeletons that steal sundries. I'm sure they still do. As pointless as it, is, as it always was. Like, who cares? Who gives a shit if they steal a plate out of... They steal one of my spoons. It's as harmful as it sounds. They steal a banana from me. They steal a rusty kettle. They will take all of my knives, all of my silver and hard bones, right out of my pocket. That's what they do. They'll make Mailman Quest a little harder. Maybe. Probably not, though. I don't know what this is still. This is a mess. I'm stuck here in cave land. There's nothing, there's no exit. Maybe this is the wrong side. Fuck. I'm pretty sure that somebody got a truckload of bits. Let me let me look at this. Not bits, uh, snail coins. Twenty-five thousand to three people. <laughs> yeah, uh, because they voted that this game would actually give me a real airship. Here in the final minute, right before we go to the last exit, like, there's Kefka's tower up on the horizon, and then they give me my airship. Basically is what they've done. Uh, and they did. That's exactly what they did. In this game where delivery service is the main theme, and that would have been super nice, they finally gave me a real airship right at the very last... The very last element. There's nothing else here, I don't think. We got a dirty stick. <laughs> here in the last... One dirty stick, please. I have no idea what to do here. I'm gonna kill all the enemies on screen, I suppose. It's gotta be that. that there's nothing else, so... That makes the most sense. It doesn't make any sense, really, but I mean, that makes the most sense to me as a shitty game designer that I am now. I've become one after playing this. This game has... Maybe five pieces of really good gear, like... Better gear than I've seen in anything, like... The post-dungeon gear in Chrono Trigger's new DS stuff isn't as good as what they've put in this game hidden away in the middle of nowhere, or in a store, seemingly crap, and described as if it were garbage, there are items that are just completely busted. Just four or five of them. One of them is a robe that auto reses her to full health forever. Over and over again. Every- once a battle. Just- that's outrageous, and it makes my healer almost unkillable. Uh, another one is that all mana costs are 30%. In a game where you can't afford to do anything because the mana cost is so prohibitive, that is extremely good. It would always have been good. But in a game where they refuse to give you a single mana potion in a store, not one, that is priceless. <laughs> He's wearing robes that give him eight health a turn, which isn't crazy. 
but I'll take it. It's decent end game gear, I guess, if that's gonna be the best thing he's got. As long as no enemy breaks it. It sure looks like I have to kill every enemy here, which means we gotta kill like 30 more battles worth of enemies, just by pure force. That's not, not a big deal, I guess. It's just a waste of time. But like I said, that's the worst thing they could possibly do. So that's my assumption is that what's that's got to be what's going on, right? <laughs> There's nothing that could be worse than being forced to kill a bunch of enemies for no reason. So it's got to be that. It's hard to navigate, so the clock plays a role. They love that clock, so they get to use it this way. I actually don't like the quotes without context too much, because they, um, they make less sense than I prefer. I like to include the game. So they, um, the thing that I am still unsure about is what element my guy should be using because he's got four moves now, fire, water, earth, and wind, and I'm only allowed to pick one, and I have to pick it in advance. So which one is good? Which one should he be using on the final boss who's just some guy? What is some guy weak to? Which avatar power do we want? I'm missing a skeleton somewhere. That's not good. <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. It's probably one that I killed earlier that respawned somewhere. Basically, I only get enough mana back to um to use my AoE skill like twice maybe.
Where's that hacked skeleton at? I've got one clock's worth of time. Face it with a smile or a tear in your eye. This is the last Lunar broadcast. Love my controls being inverted, that's what that does. By the way, there's lots of good stuff happening on controls in this. There you are, you busted skeleton. Buster check. Why does the stream look so awful? Audio? Muffled. Screen? Squashed. Quality? Poor. You could get the capture window resized a bit at least. Stretch boy or fuck boy? I sure am dying to these things. Because they shoot magic that can't be dodged and ignores all defense and never misses. Never runs out. They always have mana to go. Oh no, they killed my hero. Whoops. What a ruse. Wait, Gideon 3? Wait. <laughs> oh boy, the Gideon 3. What the fuck is a Gideon 3? Uh, we are indeed killing every single enemy is the goal here. There's 20 to go. That's great. Good stuff. It's just another card. Well, who's that? I haven't seen Gideon 3 yet. Are they spoiling the upcoming fight? It didn't... Oh my. It didn't even give me the freaking heal that they always give me when I kill every enemy. That sucks. I'm gonna have to use my consumables that I haven't used all <laughs> even once, really. All game long I've been sitting on these and I've only got 13 of them. I bought these. You can't find... You have to find these in chests. So in the whole game there's like... There's like seven mental gums and 13 mental drops. Because I definitely have not used a single one of those. That's all the mana restoration that you get in this whole game, aside from the cards, which I also have a ton of, so... I'm ready for this shit. I was preparing for a dungeon to be as dumb as this the whole time. They can't beat me with endurance, I'm ready for that. They gotta come up with something else if they wanna stop me. Oh, 
Oh, I see. They're, they're gonna hit me with the old break your gear and your game is over move. Well, that will stop me. <laughs> that's, that's a good strategy. That skeleton in the air there, if he hits me wrong, he'll break my weapon and then I'm dead. That weapon is not gonna get replaced. It's him. It's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay to have that happen. I have to use all my stuff when he comes out. Can't afford to risk. Uh, I'm gonna save now every every fight because he's here. Well, they've disabled the primary function of the game that they've let me have all game long. I can no longer save. Probably the best thing about this game, like legit the, the one positive of it, is that you could save whenever you wanted and you had three save files. So if you were at all careful, you could make backup saves and never soft lock in the wrong place. You could, you could save before any shithead stuff happened and revert it. They've taken that away, probably just for this one area at least though, right? They'll probably give it back after this is done, right? Tornado Flame voice quit, uh, quote is definitely the best part of Legend of the Guy. I'm not allowed to use safe states, that's for sure. Whatever the game does to me, it's gonna it's gonna be played like it's on hardware. The only reason I have safe states at all is so that I uh, make sure that my save doesn't get corrupted or something weird. If I see the credits of this game, I'm going to have some questions that I haven't gotten answered in-game. <laughs> they're never going to tell me how it works. We got lucky this time, yeah? Um, the number of checkboxes is random. Because that's dumb as hell. That's like the stupidest thing they could do with that. And they did, so. We got five, which is the minimum. So this is gonna be a fast one. Rel relatively speaking, compared to the other one. They randomized it on, um, on entrance, so. I can't re-roll this one because I'm stuck in this stupid place, but. I wouldn't anyway, like, it's too far to walk. I love that she has a move that never misses that hits the whole team for 60. And she probably does it every single time. And my dude is too stupid to attack her. Yeah, great. That's fair. Nice balanced stuff going on here. <laughs> Come on. Okay, good. She has two moves. One of them sucks. forward to my gear breaking on this the final battle here yeah kill him no oh, no the only one who's alive is the one I hate looks like we got away with it this time I'm 
I'm gonna use one of those MP regen cards and see how it works. See if it's any good. I haven't used one yet. We got the Ignatius card. It's a collectible. It's for when we play, uh... Wireless mode, maybe? I don't know what the fuck these are for. Draw symbols, torture. You see, there's this, which is super good. How much mana regen are we talking about with that one? Quite a bit. Those are wild. The cards are stupid good. The cards are rare drops off of enemies that get reposted over and over again, so... Taking advantage of those is going to make this way simpler. I've been saving them because I knew they were this good. I tried to get a replacement card one time and I never was able to achieve it, so... Um, I'm lucky to have the good ones, I think. I don't know what the symbol dragging thing does. I use the equipment protection card all the time. You have to use it in battle. And you have to use it before you get attacked. So you have to hope that the person who throws out the equipment protection card uses it before the enemy who breaks equipment attacks. And also it's on charge just like all the other cards, like it has limited uses, so I've been stingy with it. But I have used it like 12 times. You have to know in advance that the enemy can break your gear, which means that it's already happened to you. Because there's no way to know, other than just knowing which enemies do it. They're all regular enemies too, like it's just some scorpion can do it, and that flying skeleton, and uh, three more just random enemies that I know. <laughs> I've, I've definitely felt the pain from. I've definitely reloaded a save, because the gear that they break at this point is all priceless, endgame, one-of-a-kind. If, if I were to grind the money to buy the ones that are purchasable, it would take me like an hour. I don't know what it means by dragging symbols near you, I don't understand. That guy right there, he's the one. He's back, I'm glad he's here in every fight. Yeah, they just change your gear into a piece of junk gear that does nothing. It, it's like worse than your starting gear, and it can't be fixed. It's just gone. If they break the gear, it's dead. Nice, shooting. Well, I'm not going to show any mercy to any enemy. Why should I? When I have all this mana regen, I'm just going to blast everything from here on out. We'll wrap this up real fast. There's a bunch of cards that do stuff like weaken the enemy, and there's no need for that at all. I probably will use them on Ignatius uh, when he shows up finally. Was that good? <laughs> we went for a little spin there. But...
Yeah, that mana regen is okay, but I'm still gonna... Um, I'm gonna use the full mana regen heal thing. Why not? It's super good. I'm gonna heal myself to full and then mana regen completely. Just to get that full recovery that they refuse to give me. They're supposed to give it to me when I clear every enemy in the screen. It's like a 30% heal. But they decided that in the final dungeon they're gonna disable that one mercy. I just thought I'd fight these. I don't think they're worth mana. Three down. Rufus. <laughs> Alas, poor Rufus. I knew him for an hour. We pretended he was our great friend when he died. 4,000 points. If there's a card game attached to the wireless mode, I wonder if anyone on Earth has ever played it. The Forbidden Card Game. I really should have saved. Shit. I keep forgetting to do that when I have a break from the combat that lets me, presumably, would let me save. If they break the wrong piece of gear, I'll restart and <laughs> so I'm gonna just make sure that I uh, give these skeletons as little a chance as possible to do the thing, but they don't die in one shot, so. Close, but not quite. And now I gotta fight seven this time. This sucks. What a bad roll. I think the last time I saved was after area one of this place. So I'd have to do the other two again if they get me. If they break my gloves or something, I probably won't care. But if they break my weapon, fuck that. <laughs> I ain't doing that. We're not playing that way.
if you want to make this game bearable, you'd have to treat the rework of it as a skeleton uh, of its former self, like... The only thing you could keep are the maps <laughs> and the character. You have to rewrite the scripts, you'd have to change every enemy. Because they all do one thing, and they have way too much health. They don't do any damage, they just have one attack that wastes time. You'd have to fix quite a few things. Last two skeletons. Well, here's two breakers. Can we prevent this here? Ah, my termite card's gone, that's right. <laughs> great. Cool, they're dead. Got lucky she decided that was the enemy and not the one in front of her. And it had like two health left. Somehow I got through with an equipment breaker in every single one of these four zones and none of them succeeded in getting me. I managed to take them all out quick. Now, I don't know that that actually solved anything for me, but <laughs> yeah. Might as well full heal before I do that. Athena card, all oh, right. Am I really gonna come in at just 26 hours exact? In game time? This is the place where we were. Man, you could have just not done that entire bottom part. Return of Gideon. <laughs> Natover. Natovery. They spoiled this Gideon with the cards. I knew he was coming. I wouldn't have known he was coming. I wouldn't have su suspected this at all if, um... They didn't show me a card ahead of time. Oh, 
he's got a crappy boomerang shot. He's as harmless as before. He's maybe more harmless than before. It is running at double speed. <laughs> this is me never releasing the L and R buttons because they speed the game up. Look how slow combat is without it. Like, it's unbearable actually, especially after seeing what it's like with turbo on. What it should just be normally. It's so fucking slow. I killed him. Got the angel ring. Oh, we got a full heal. Gideon 2 was a really pathetic guy. <laughs> it's, that was really easy. <laughs> what happened to the boss fights in this game? They were a threat once. Where's this angel ring at, man? Why did he have it? Oh, it's an auto res again. I mean, I'd rather have her counterattack, probably, than auto res. Like, who cares? Oh, that was the second time I've fought him. I'm trying to decide what kind of gear I want. I've got counterattack or auto res. I've got a thing that gives me 10% more damage. Yeah, Gideon was just the boss I just beat. We threw a sword at him in vengeance. We threw the sword of the guy who we, he killed earlier at him. And he, he caught it and then used it to fight us. <laughs> and... But we beat him, and then ten minutes later he respawned, and he's uh, he's just as bad as he was before. So now we proceed finally to the real boss, I guess. They blocked the save in here as well. Well, I've got a save back there somewhere, so. Have some widescreen in game here. Folks, it's Gideon 3. <laughs> 3.0 Gideon. Return of Gideon. Gideon big. Gideon has his own unique sing song on Gideon 3.
He looks like he's straight out of, like, Mario RPG or something, yeah. Like, he just looks like some fucking silly dragon. Oh, he's got a real attack. I better actually play. Hold on. We actually have to heal against get Oh. He lost his he lost his shell there. Never mind. I have to cast one spell real quick. Guy for the subs. I wonder how good the regen is here. Thirteen? That sucks. <laughs> okay. What else do you have in here that I haven't used ever? Uh, we have. Increase speed of everybody? What the hell does that do? I can't figure that out. Hey, thanks for the five. I'm not using speed. I don't think it does anything. I think it actually was forgotten about as a stat. Unless it affects dodge. It's either dodge or nothing, because I don't think the turn order is a thing. This boss is hitting me for like 90. I have 500 HP. It's auto healing faster than he can deal damage to me. I'm getting like 40 HP back every turn on everyone now. Gideon 3 is... He's, he's got the power of Gideon 1 and 2 combined, so he's still not anything. They're gonna need another 10 Gideons. Every time his body disappears, I think I won. It's really disappointing every time that he's still gone. <laughs> Come on! Get out of here, Gideon. Hey, Tess, thank you for the bits. He's still alive! He has so much HP! We're just fighting a brick wall with our bare hands. And our knuckles are always fixing themselves, so... You know what he's doing when he loses his body? He's doing the same thing the dragons were doing. All four of them. They went to sleep in the middle of the battle over and over again instead of attacking. They just stood there and took hits. They never did anything. And he's exactly like them. He's just dragon number five. Whatever this thing is, in terms of storyline, the four dragons who created the world were way weaker than he is, in terms of just survivability, general survivability. 
I guess they were supposed to be weakened, but even so, like... What is this thing? He did some real damage with that last blast. I have to heal myself again. For the second time. So he has one move that hits everybody for 200. That is somewhat dangerous that I have. I have to turn off auto mode just for that. And nothing else. If he decides to use it. It's like a pop scare on my screen when he comes up the bottom right there. Posture check. So, it, it would appear that regen and um, probably the defense and offense buffs as well last the entire battle. They just never turn off. If I, uh, if I don't kill this guy soon, I'm gonna start to think that there's some other way to- Oh, there he goes. No items dropped from Gideon 3. Gideon Cube just dead. They have an exhaustion animation. I didn't even know that. Hey, how you doing?
Goddess has bad memory. What's he got there? He reached in his crummy pocket. Oh, he doesn't want those? What? <laughs> he just doesn't have that wisdom. He, he lost it. He's lost the... Uh... right one of you will end up defeated I can't believe that he's listening to the guy at the end some random NPC at the end gave him this advice just some random end keeper told him about the circle of violence nobody else in the whole game just some just some one guy said just don't fight it's no good She got Rufus. <laughs> you know. Luigi! This is unforgivable. Luigi! I did not think such foolishness you capable of. I don't actually have a button in, in combat that doesn't attack. <laughs> like, all I can do is use items or attack. There's no guard. That's one of the things I noticed right away. Because, you know, sometimes I actually don't want to attack. Like when my healer only does 10 damage anyway, maybe she should never attack. Ideally, but they didn't even give me that option. They took it away. You do not need to defeat him when you seize your enemy. Rather, you require the bravery to open your heart and forgive him. Lucia, please do not cry for me. I am no longer required. This world does not need me. What do you mean, goddess? Strength to force the future must come from a single, all-powerful being. No, it must be <laughs> you, alive in the world to love. What do you mean? Being like me and try to do everything. Not good for the people. This world is not equal. It's a bit of the world. The world is a bit of the world.
Well, Lucian dead. <laughs> what is he got care about? What are you gonna take the next healer I have away for? They're always taking my healers. Immediately. A real turd, tear, 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 tear jerker. Will you kneel before your new Ignatius? Release Flora. You can't kill her because she'll auto res. Joke's on you. She's immune to damage. Is there nothing you will stoop to? Is that how that phrase goes? Oh, he didn't do anything. <laughs> he really doesn't need our help. He can teleport. The dude can fly. Oh. He accidentally dropped our final boss fight. Luigi! I can't believe Gideon 3 might actually be the end game boss. And not this jackass. Hey, you saved Flora. And this lady, this Gabriel's here. You got two. Two people out of five, that's not too bad. That's right, you tell him, Flora. Let's remix the sorrow theme here. I'm still in one piece. Is this really for the best? Save is forbidden. It's against the rules. Hey! Stairs are out. the base on this. What else Titus? Wait, Titus is um Titus is the priest who lives in that stupid town. The town that was racist and then one day decide they weren't. on respawning. Yeah, this is Flora's brother. He lived in the cave. He said that Flora was becoming strong. That's, I just talked to him before I went to the castle. had this conversation.
Oh, she's back after all. Okay, great. Only Rufus died. <laughs> Wait, he's a... He's a... He can morph? Thank you for the subs and the fifty dollar curse. My wife, thank you for the eleven dollar. Okay, I'll ask this question now because the game wouldn't tell me. How in the fuck do you level up the delivery quest so they give you, presumably give you more money? Do they ever give you more money for those and how do you get to it? How do you access more cash in this stupid game where everything is a billion dollars? Where do you get cow bones? Cow bones? I never found cow bones. <laughs> okay, so, so it's a 10 quest grind at the quest giver. I see. So I was doing it right, I just didn't expect for them to divide it by 5. Oh, we're back. Hey, how about we check out that Colosseum? Elysium. Cards lost in multiplayer mode will no longer be usable in single player mode. Ew. You can gamble your jackass cards. There's no opponents. Oh, man. They got a screen for eight challengers here, and I can't find anybody. Where's the network? I can't believe it's not here. You can gamble your cards that, um, as we saw are the elixirs of the game. They are essential to your sanity. <laughs> Thank you for the thousand.
Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I hit my desk. I remember yelling about Bubsy when I did that. I'll tell you what, since we're done with this, I guess, since, um, what, what other questions did I have? Let me load up real quick and see if I can come up with anything else I wanted the answer to. Or a couple things. Is there level scaling? Is that something that I was right about? <laughs> well, the worst thing it could possibly be is, like, an average or based on the highest level, which would always be your main character there. Uh, they they kind of rounded off at the end there, since we only had three characters for almost the whole game, despite everything. Is there elemental damage? Does it matter which element I choose? What does this card that draws symbols towards you do? I think that's enemies. Where do you get cow bones? And ropes. Where does one get a rope if you wanted a rope? Mad Fang. My ass they do. I've killed so many of these, they never drop me no cow bones. They're super rare if that's the case. I don't know where any of those three enemies you named are. Evil Earth. They refuse to give me any ropes. I killed a lot of those. I'm looking at them right now on the bottom right. That's the Evil Earth, the one with the leaf. Cow bones aren't real. I don't believe it. <laughs> Game's over. Defeated game. Gideon 3 was the final boss. There was no final boss. They forgot to put the final boss in. They just put Gideon in here and called it a day. Well, we still have an hour of corruption left, so I'm going to use it on Mario Brothers or something here in a minute. Hold on. Let me see if this works. Can I just hot swap to my biz hop? <laughs> it's not quite as corrupt as it usually is, huh? Let me get rid of this. Okay, that's pretty corrupt. <laughs> well, that's, that's not right. Hold on a second. Fix your wagon, Mario World.
uh, we're gonna rotate this a little bit and uh yeah here comes Mario Brothers Yeah, um, one of my buddies messaged me asking to do the Curse 50. He's gonna regret it probably because <laughs> I got a game that's no good for nobody. I don't. I actually don't know if humans can beat my game without a guide. I don't. I don't know that they can. So, <laughs> I have to check. I haven't said what it is out loud yet. I don't know if I'm supposed to. But I haven't told him what I think I'm gonna make him play. Yeah, I'll offer it. He's in, uh, he's in your Discord. I think. Yeah, if anyone wants to do it, that's fine. I'll throw it out there. I'd like to see somebody try. I'm trying to play this on the, um, sideways stream myself. It's a little disorienting. I'll put my game screen here. I'll, I'll get a picture of it. Let's see if any of you have the guts. Take this masterpiece on. Because I used the guide and it blew my mind. And it took me uh, seven hours or... Do you have what it takes? <laughs> you got the stones. King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. It can be beaten in like four hours. Actually, I think the speed run of it was like down to two, but you know, that's knowing exactly what to do. The speed run for the game I just beat can also be beaten in a couple hours, I guess. That speed runs, though, you know. It's very much a game that uh, I was baffled while getting directions on how to do stuff still. I still don't understand. So, good luck. <laughs> in my attempts to play it before I looked up anything, I never made it past the first boss because something really weird goes on that prohibits any progress until you figure it out. Yoshi, oh, come back! Nice! I would say that King Arthur is worse than almost anything I've ever seen. 
It's definitely the worst NES game I can think of. Like, there's no contest that it's worse than some boring RPG that I just played that has a bunch of shitty... Uh, at least that game had a couple pieces of good equipment. <laughs> like, there's nothing good in King Arthur. Ain't nothing good at all. Even the source material sucks. It's all bad news. You see that landing? You probably didn't. That's too bad. <laughs> it's a little, a little scrolled here. Hold on. Wait. We'll do that. I think if you treat this stupid game like a puzzle game, you would maybe, if you were really good at the old pen and paper RPGs, that's actually the kind of game this really is. It's not, um, it's not an action game like it, you think it is. You're all welcome to play it for free. I wanted to hear what this music sounds like. How's it doing? Look, that's pretty cool. Oh. Oh. We gotta get to that big blue. That's a slapper. It's coming up. This is enhanced F Zero. It's hacked to bits. Like this is the arcade bit edition. There's only three laps, I think. I seem to remember that it used to take five, but I might be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure it used to take five, and we fixed it to three, which is way more fitting. Put this guy in.
Drive, drive. Man, you even start with a boost? What a good tweak. It's big blue. Is that good? Oh. Where are you? We gotta rotate you. Now we're gaming. About just the base.
Get up there. Come on up there, damn it. Oh. I'll never get the balloons. Rufus died forever. Let's get this going. The year is XX02. I would have finished the game last night, but they made me do a fetch quest to, uh, to some laboratory to get some junk <laughs> so I could get my airship made to fly over to where the final boss was. They somehow squeezed 20 minutes of content out to be four hours. Really good vile face popped up down there in the bottom.
Oh, they started with Launch Octopus? Well, that's a challenge. Whoops. I thought they started me on Chill Penguin. Somebody told me once that they start you on Chill Penguin, so that's how you know to go there, but that's just a lie. You start on Launch Octopus, the worst choice, the hardest one. Easily the hardest one. The stage and the boss. Nightmares. stage has a bunch of spikes and mini bosses everything takes a million hits you're supposed to have some power ups here <laughs> I don't know how many shots this thing takes but it probably is like a hundred Did I miss something over here? I can't remember. I don't think so. I think it's just the one up. Not even. The trick to not falling on the spikes here is that the towers all connect to the ground. Yeah, Launch Octopus is um, a very projectile heavy boss. To do it without any health at all, uh, you're going to have to be able to shoot his stuff out of the air because you ain't going to be able to dodge it. It's going to take some fine tuned jumpings. No one else requires that kind of precision. Stink Chameleon's pretty hard. I think he'd be my number two pick. Some of the other bosses are rough without anything. Um, Spark Mandrel's one of them, I guess. Most of them aren't too bad, though. Last time.
What a jerk. He's doing spam instead of this. So I'm not getting any mercy on him at all. Almost had him. If he does this a bunch, it's easier. He didn't give me any mercy last time. So I had to shoot down these dang missiles all the time. If he actually catches me with that, that's bad news too. But um, yeah, and without dash, it's pretty hard to get away from it. He will suck my blood away and get some health back. He'll do that. Oof. I won by the heart tank. Well, now we have homing missiles, so that's cool. I've never had those before for this. Ever. I've never done it in this order. This order is completely wrong. They kind of suck though, huh? They're not strong enough to kill the things in one hit. I'll be good here. There's, uh, there's one or two more things I want to do before I throw that cursed game out the window. I want to I want to see what the level 4 quests look like since I've been told how to do them. At least done mammoth first I could have the heart tank here. At least I could have done that, but no. <laughs> no. Missile challenge run. This sucks. <laughs> it's not even homing in on him.
Hey, what's up? I want to do something here. Um, I want to know the answer to one thing in this stupid game. It's time for postman services here. No effect. We're locked in hell. How about down here, you jerks? This is stupid. Why would they do that? Let me leave. They've disabled escape completely. If it still doesn't work here, then I don't know. Maybe it's just that whole back area. No, they just broke it. <laughs> it's just this is the work on this castle. Why would you ever want to leave this castle, I guess, is what they figure. Because it's so good here. The content. Apparently the grind for postal service upgrades is extremely big, and that's why I'm never making money. I need to take any quest that goes to my mainland. Mainland port town. Just do it over and over again. So the first thing I'm gonna do is buy every ingredient that they have in the store. Ninety of them. These are the quests we can do. <laughs> I guess what I need to do here uh, is um, deliver like 50 times to my main port town. And I've already done probably 20. So, you know, we're fresh on our way to the goal. level two quests to home port that might be extremely hard to do maybe impossible So we shouldn't do that one. We need Port Cirrus with two stars. Shit. It also has to be a quest we can handle.
guess, um, I might be having it backwards. Do I do them from the, um... Do I do the delivery to the city? Or from the city? Because if it's from the city, that's a lot easier. And that would make sense, I guess. this item stuff. I don't know about no save glitch. just happened to deliver everything back to Gad here personally, I might have made some money. Gad looks so sad. He's so upset. Informed of anything, no. Damn, where's these wooden dolls? Heck. This was very confusing and it was a core mechanic. How the fuck do you level up the. <laughs> The difficulty and value of these. Why can't I get any of this done? Take jobs. Gads Express. Visit the local Gads Express. Receive payment. doesn't say anything about the level of the quest. I don't know where you got that from. Are you sure that's a thing? Why did you say that? It just so happens that the easy quest is the level ones. The free one. I can't find any information that says anything about that.
I'm in the wrong village. Don't have bananas. There are no other item vendors in the whole game, it's two. Just the two. Can't do nature work. Can do dry grass. Jose. That's a good one. That's in town. That's gotta give me credit. I don't know exactly how it works, but hey, he's right over here. So they have the screen here. You can't actually travel this town with the touch screen. They fucked up. Because <laughs> the touch screen part is on the right where the menu where the list of places are. You only get the four, so you can only cycle around those. I just wanted to see if I could ever get this to be level three. Or four, even. I wanted to see what the value of the level four quest was, but I'll never be able to get it. Never goes up. Who the hell's Garcia? Dry grass for Garcia. on City Miranda. If the level one quests don't count, then it's almost impossible to level. I, it's just not even... Not even close to realistic to level this up even once. Wait, that's your house, Miranda. Why aren't you in here? stairs. I bet you're curious what the Beast King has to say.
I've not seen it increase. I don't know when it went to level two, but I must have done it when I was trying to make money way back at the start. And when it went to level two, it still mixes in a ton of level one quests. It just opens up more options, I guess, in one single place. Not all of them. There's five of them. Only one of them gets leveled up. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna go get healing, uh, hugging pillows from the stupid, awful place here. <laughs> How long could it take? When we can, uh, instantly kill the enemies. How long could it possibly take to get a bunch of those, right? Let's find out. We can instantly end these fights, so how long could it possibly take me to get a bunch of these items? Also my luck is really high, so we ought to get multiples of them on drop. Yeah, it's so far back. The airship only takes me to towns, which is something. It's better than nothing. It doesn't take me to every location, but I wouldn't expect that, really. It would be nice. At least it takes me to every town. At least it's a real airship. These guys have them, I guess, for some reason. <laughs> How rare are these? I think I've only ever seen one. Maximum luck. She's still not strong enough to kill these in one shot. They leveled up their HP and she didn't level up her damage. There's that luck coming in play right there. All right, nice. Is there any card I can use? to boost me up here. I have to use it in battle. Kind of defeats the purpose of it. Hey, wooden box. That's an item. I like to know everything about the games I beat. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why they work the way they do. I can't find the answer to this still. There's no good guide on this stupid quest system.
Now we're cruising. Rusty helmet. Wooden box. Where's the where's the pillows? They're so rare. They don't exist. They're those awful flying monsters. I've seen them. Yeah, I can't find this thing. I know I got one in here. Maybe it's a better place somewhere else. I can't imagine though. I mostly avoided fights after after a point, even for items, because I didn't need either XP or items. I got one. Yep, five for just one, and it, even now, like, there's no way to increase the drop rate. It's crazy. Wait, I have to walk? <laughs> I guess if I use the um, regular exit, I have to walk. So the basic enemy from the start of the game drops these and it just wouldn't give me any that whole time. Maybe the le higher level enemy blobs give more drops or something. I don't think I've ever seen them drop these out here, but that you would assume they would if they're wanting so many of them. But no, of course not. It's ridiculous. I need one more, but just for the stupid quest I'm on currently. I don't think these ones have it. I think it's a blob specific. It's a rare enemy in here.
the stupid game. The blob is extremely rare. I got XP mode on. I haven't seen a single blob this whole time. This sucks. <laughs> This is impossible to do. I was right to skip this idea. One rusty helmet for five enemies, it's all good, whatever, right? Yeah. Okay, we are not doing any more hugging pillow related quests. Yo, take man, thanks for the sub. So you can play a multiplayer card game where you permanently lose cards, and um, you can lose permanently guards that you can't get back without beating the whole game again, I guess. You just restart and beat the whole game again to get your what, what are we, Gideon 3 card back? This is actually three levels of turbo. Deliver cow bone. Well, let's go get those cow bones. Apparently, they drop off the creatures in the woods down here. Cowbone owner, allegedly. Didn't drop it this time. That's too bad. I'm looking for cow bones. I never found them. <laughs> Where'd my cow bones? All I get some poisoners. You want a cow bone? All you get is poison. Calbone! Calbone!
How many cowbone do I need? I need two cowbone. We gotta get back to work on cowbone. We need another cowbone. Being completely maxed out and busted as hell and having an, enough mana to spam an instant wind shot every time and that's still this slow to get any of this done. This is a level one quest. <laughs> as easy as it gets. Yeah, on the bright side, we get mats no matter what. We might not get the one we're looking for, because it's impossible to get any specific map, but we get mats. My team has run out of mana. Gotta use one of the mana jun cards. Most of these ingredients I already have 99 of because I bought them with this vendor. They introduced the concept of a store that could sell these random items and then they never put another one in the game. Did they forget or did they not even mean to put the one in that was in there? <laughs> this enemy is uncommon. Like it's the rare enemy here and it's rare drop is Calbone. It's a double rare stack. It's like a 1% chance to get a, a cow bone in every fight. Cow bones are incredibly uncommon. They're made out of solid gold. Because we can't run from battle without failing every single time, it's better to just kill them. This is like an hour of time in real time it would be to get done everything I've done here and I've still not got two cow bones. When they don't show up I don't even have a chance to get one. Bone too, we we're out there. Yeah, right when I ran out. Completely empty. <laughs> Who wants this? Cow bones. Caramel. Item store. I'll never forget you. Armor store, actually. I forgot you. Hey. Dan, you're on Sam's store. That's right. Alvera wants poisoners. I don't know who Alvera is, so 
That's a problem. I found you. That would take like five minutes to walk, what I just did, with the flight. sucks <laughs> but we got one it's still like two grand <laughs> but it's new the fee for quitting it is 500 bucks There we go. The real quest. They give you six grand. <laughs> so presumably you get like 10,000 for the final quest, which means you need... Ugh. You need to do four or five of them per piece of item at the maximum level to get the money you need for this game to buy the gear that you want. So I'm going to go out on them here and assume that the speedrun doesn't bother with that either. It finds some other way to make money. Okay, well that was the last mystery I can think of with this game. How to level up that garbage. And is it worth money? Apparently it still isn't. It's worth more money, but it's still not worth money. Does he have any good ones at all? 7k, that's the most I've ever seen. I don't think we can get replica swords very easily either. Uh, bone swords for that matter, I don't know where those come from. I'm finally satisfied to say this game is done. <laughs> I've had my fill of Lunar DS. I think I'm done for now. I might be back on later tonight with something fresh. Anything will feel fresh. Proton John is playing The Misadventures of Tron Bond. I'm gonna host him. Maybe, let me see. Is anyone else on? Don't Exalted 3. I, um, I'm gonna watch Misadventures, because I've, I've been meaning to play that, um, because I like Mega Man Legends, but I know that's a complete spin-off. Have a good night, everybody.